I'm Ralph Morelli. I'm a computer science professor at Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut, where I've been teaching computer science since 1985. I want to talk a little bit about a project that I'm also the director of, along with Chinma Uche, uh, a high school teacher here in Hartford. Uh, it's called the Mobile Computer Science Principles Project. Um, to set the context for this, uh, there's a problem or a challenge in computer science. Not enough students are studying computer science to fill the projected number of jobs that we expect in the coming years. And even worse, very few women and very few uh, students uh, from underrepresented groups such as African Americans and Hispanic Americans are studying computer science. And because of this challenge, the National Science Foundation has started a program to try to get more teachers trained in high school uh, to teach computer science. And that's what our project does. Um, the, the important part about our project, what, what makes it somewhat unique, is that we use mobile computing. We're using a, a language called App Inventor for Android that is very easy to use. It's a visual language. The code that you write are a sequence of blocks. And uh, by putting these blocks together, you can build a mobile app for your Android tablet or phone. It's so easy that students can do this in a matter of uh, a, a class lesson. So by the very first day, they are building apps and getting incited, excited about computer science and computing. The, you know, so while the App Inventor part of our curriculum is the programming part, the rest of it is some of the standard computer science topics. And what we're aiming towards is to uh, have a new course in high school that's being developed by the college board at the AP level that will give a broad uh, presentation of computer science to students to try to show some of the attractive parts of it in areas such as uh, uh, number systems like binary number systems, but also about algorithms and, uh, and, and importantly about the impact of computing on our society. So isn't it strange that in today's day and age where computing affects just about every facet of society and, and has a major impact in some, um, fewer and fewer students are taking computer science in college. And uh, when, I, when I was taking computer science myself in the early 80s, classes were um, you know, not evenly boy, girl, or men, woman, they were, but there were significant numbers of women studying computer science. Something's happened since the mid-80s. Those numbers have dropped down to in my classes here at Trinity, we're lucky to have 20% of the students in the course uh, be females. So our project um, has a full curriculum. If you want to know more about it, you can go to mobilecsp.org. Uh, I think there's a hyphen between the mobile and the CSP. And uh, what you'll see there is a, a complete curriculum for studying computer science at the high school level. And um, the past two summers, uh, my colleagues and I have trained um, 30, 40 teachers in person and uh, many more online. We have, now we have an online course um, that teachers uh, this coming summer will be able to take in order to learn computer science for themselves and possibly be able to teach it in their high schools. Last year was the first year of our project and in the summer we recruited 20 students from the mobile CSP courses who went to work for the city of Hartford building mobile apps to serve the city of Hartford. One of the most impressive results of that project was an app that's going to be housed in a kiosk in City Hall so that when you go into City Hall, the app will give you directions on what office you want to visit in either English or Spanish. And this was an app that the kids built in six weeks uh, here at Trinity College. So that gives you an idea of the kind of social impact students can have when they learn computer science in this very engaging way by building mobile apps, something that they're very familiar with. And the overall goal is to change their perspective of computer science from being consumers of computing to being producers of it through mobile apps.